Leonardo Capdevili is the CTO of Team, and we are talking about how Team is evolving LTE in Brazil. Uh, what is Team doing to increase the 4G range uh, and the speed and uh, improving this network? Well, uh, I'd like to highlight some kind of pillars that we have in terms of the 4G. The first, the first is about the coverage. So, the big project that we have is the LTE 700. This is a new frequency that we are using in Brazil. We started to use that one year ago. And our plan is to achieve, in the end of this year, around 1,000 new cities with the LTE in the frequency of the 700. The second one is the natural evolution of the 4G, that is, uh, to increase new cities and more coverage in the existing cities, and our target is to achieve more than 2,000 new cities in the end of this year. More than that, uh, we are evolving the LTE for the new features for the LTE Advanced. So we already are using in our network the care aggregation and uh, the new modulation of uh, 256 QAM. So with that, uh, we are a uh, guarantee for our customer that they have the best experience in coverage, in the speed, and uh, in, uh, uh, let's say, more approach in terms of uh, the experience, in terms of the usage of the new service. And what about voice over LTE? Uh, have Chin tested already and how did it go? Not just testing, we already have data in a commercial launch. So uh, we deployed the Volt on the same cities that we have the 700. And in Rio, in Sao Paulo, despite uh, the 700 is not available, we are using the 1800 frequency to use the Volt. What we are experimenting in terms of the quality is that with the Volt, not just the quality of the voice, the audio, is better than the traditional 3G, but the time to connect is reducing for time. So we already launched the Devote in Brazil for the postpaid and this month we will extend that for the prepaid plan. And are you combined with 3G or uh, customers that use 4G uses only Volt? No, they are using only Volt. They just uh, not using Volt uh, where the coverage is not uh, already red in terms of the 4G. And uh, one thing that is very good for us is that uh, now recently we have the approved from Apple for the iOS 11. So the team was the first operator to launch the Volt in Latin America. And now in Brazil, we are the unique company that has been approved by Apple to use the Volt on the iPhone models. And talking about uh, moving towards the 5G, uh, what has Tin uh, did, uh, done uh, before and how the carrier is becoming prepared for the next uh, generation of telecommunication? Um, talking about the 5G, we believe that the 5G will be a reality after 2021, 2022, in fact. But until there, we have to prepare the network on this direction. So we can see that right now we have some constraints in Brazil that uh, will be strong for the 5G, but uh, it is already are some kind of block to evolve the 4G. I'm talking about the spectrum, I'm talking about the number of antennas, the density of antennas and the fiber. So I believe that uh, if we move this kind of blocks, we can not just deploy the 4G faster, but we can prepare the path for the 5G. So this is the same uh, constraint that we have for the both technology, because it is agnostic, you know, uh, in the 5G, everybody's talking about to use high frequency. For that, we need more density of the antennas. So how to deal with the uh, existing law uh, to prepare the network for this new densification is very important. So I guess that uh, in this period, till now, to 2021, 2022, we need to prepare the network in this direction. Okay. And uh, do you still have a lot of 2G customers in your network? And if you do, um, what have you done to move them to 3G? And do you, how long do you think it will take to go to 4G or even 3G? All right. Uh, in fact, we still have uh, a lot of customers that are using 2G device, but uh, 
let's separate in two different uh, groups. The first is the usage of the 2G for data, and it is very common in the machine to machine, all right? The second is the customer that are just using the 2G for voice. So it is still a reality, but what we can see is that uh, in a natural way, this customer will migrate in for the 3G and 4G. One of the big successful that the team has in Brazil, we are the leader in terms of uh, 4G coverage now in the country, was reusing or refarming the 2G frequency, 1800, from 2G to 4G. Why we did that? Because we perceived that the usage of the 2G was reducing a lot, because it was most focused on voice. So we reusing the same spectrum that we have in the 2G for the 4G. So this reforming was a reality because of the 2G traffic was very, very uh, reduced. Thank you a lot.